Yo, so this is a quick message. Cause I know we've been in this space, like in the musician community where younger musicians feel like the older musicians don't want to help them. The older musicians feel like the younger ones don't listen. It's like I'm in the middle, age wise and when it comes to the perspective of the whole thing. It goes both ways, you know, and I'll give you examples. I was the type I always wanted the knowledge. That's all I wanted. Give me the knowledge and I'll work on what I need to work on. So that's the one thing, you know, young guys, if you ask them to do for advice or a female for advice, whatever the case may be, and they see you the next time and you haven't worked on any of what they told you, you've wasted their time for sure. One hundred percent. Prime example. We did Home for the Holidays. This was 2005, I'll never forget it, with Mary J. And we walk in, but Teddy's there with Ricky Minor, the house band. It's something about that house band. It's like when you make that band, like <laughs> in my mind, like you've made it. But anyway, we walk in, so this 2005, right? I had only been on Mary for a year. Started in 04, so wow. So yeah, like a year later, basically. Home for the holidays, walk in, see Teddy, they going through charts, and I'm like, ugh, okay, charts. So <laughs> we walk up, we sound check. After the show, Teddy like, yo man, let's hang, let's kick it, whatever, cool. This is 05, like I'm with Ted. I was like, oh, we out here. I call, <laughs> I call my girlfriend at the time, who's my wife now, Tiff, and I said, yo, Teddy want to hang out, so I'm going to be a little busy today, basically. Because she knew. Like, <laughs> I look up to those dudes, you know what I'm saying? Teddy, Nissan, Brian. It's a list of them. Calvin, it's, the list is long. We hanging. Teddy says, yo, man, like, I really think you need to start listening to more music. It's like, ugh. So in my mind, <laughs> I was like, dog, he couldn't have possibly had heard what I just played, <laughs> now this is what I said in my mind. But then common sense kicked in. And I was like, Ugh. yeah, you're right. Learn <laughs> more music. He gave me his hard drive that night. I took all of the music on there he had off and I just started listening to it, internalizing it. This was 05. I didn't start sitting in with Ricky Minor until maybe, maybe 2008 nine maybe i don't know something like that my point is had i not took that advice teddy told me because i was dedicated to r&b that was it that's all i wanted to play that's all i cared about that's all i wanted to hear that's why i was like r&b like that's we'll talk about that another time but in that moment it was like okay yeah you sound good doing what you do but now you need to sound good doing what needs to be done for the gig and that's what i hadn't learned at that time because the gig i was on that was my that was my dream gig at the time you get what i'm saying like mary j's music i was playing her music when i was playing with choirs she just wasn't up there <laughs> so it was like for me playing her music was easy now it did take some getting used to you know what I'm saying? Because again, following the footsteps of Gerald, Gordon, Mike Clement, there's certain guys you'd be like, oh man, I can't, I can't play <laughs> with this one. But at the same time, it put me in a place of knowing what I needed to work on. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of them things like young guys, I understand some guys don't want to help you. Some guys do. At the same time, some of us are not in competition. <laughs> like. Some of the stuff that's popular now, we've done already. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm also not the guy to say, oh yeah, back in my heyday, nah, I'm still in my heyday. So those conversations don't even need to be had right now. But it's just a respect thing. Like as much as I've done in my career, whatever, I still humbly listen to those guys. Like you said, what? I mean, man, Teddy walked in my rehearsal when I was MD and Dave Hollister one day. This was in 2000, 2001, maybe. And he was across the street, center stage with Ricky Minor. He was like, yo, I'm about to come to the rehearsal. I'm about to come say, what's up? I was like, nah, we saying what's up now. I was like, I, I don't think, it's nothing over here you need to see. You know, I don't really think you need to come over here because there's really nothing over here that's going to influence what you got happening over there. And, um, 
It was mainly because I didn't want him to hear me play. And it wasn't that I didn't sound good. I knew I didn't sound good enough to sit in for him. But it's like, at that time, it's like, that's not what he's looking for. He's coming to check on you, man, listen. Teddy walked in that rehearsal. I mean, whatever confidence, it was like when Teddy walked in and opened the door. And if y'all ever been to center stage and when you open this particular door, you can't see who's coming in. But it was like when he opened the door, my confidence left out <laughs> as he was coming in. And then he was just Ted, he's standing there. I was like, Ugh. I wasn't looking up, it was terrible. Probably one, one of the worst experiences of my life when it comes to playing in front of somebody you absolutely look up to. And um, needless to say, my brother, Reggie Lewis, he was singing background and we was like co-MDing basically. He pulled me in the room, he said, bro, you sound like shit. He was like, you sound terrible. He said, before that nigga came in, you was hopping all off the seat, like you was doing what you do. He said, he walked in, you looked like you had just started playing this morning. So it was like, <laughs> that was just, that was just my respect for him. I tell niggas, man, it ain't about kissing ass. It ain't about none of that. It's just about respecting what the people in front of you did, learning from them, but keeping the same respect. You know, I don't want you to ask me for advice on a Thursday, and then I see you Sunday at the gig you asked me advice for, and you're like, oh, yo, yo, what's good? Nigga, you asked me to come. Like, well, I'm confused. You also didn't know how to do. But listen, the bottom line is take what you can, learn what you can, respect the game, and respect each other. I've had my moments, but life's too short. Back, 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 back.